What I have on the uh, upper left side here is a uh, SMD light uh, from Car ID. Uh, below that I have the same uh, in the 7440. And then on the right I have a CRE light, 7443. And then a white 7440 that was actually for the backup light, but I put it up to show the amber. Uh, as you can see, the uh, SMD light makes a better clearance light than the CRE light. And this is the SMD light. And then with the brakes on, brakes off. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference. Now the CRE light, regular. And with the brakes on. A tremendous amount of difference, but most of the light's being focused to the rear of the vehicle. On the left I have an LED backup light, and on the right I have a, uh, the regular stock bulb. Uh, the one on the uh, left here is a CRE plus SMD combo. Um, you can't really see it, but there's actually a halo in that lens because the CRE, uh, the way the Vibe has the uh, socket mounted, it actually points the light up instead of straight out. Okay, I'm now about 50 feet away from the back of the car, and you can see how the uh, SMD lights on the uh, left side of the vehicle uh, work a little bit differently. A quick comparison of the interior lighting. Here we have a two-segment LED Festin bulb. The stock Festin bulb. And then the uh, map light, which I replaced with a uh, SMD panel array. Um, it's actually so bright that the camera dims all the way down. Um, but you can see by looking at the dash though that the uh, panel array is extremely bright lighting up the whole interior. The uh, stock Festin ball barely lights up the middle seat and the uh, two-segment Festin LED uh, actually does a decent job of lighting up the cargo area.